We are hanging out with the gorgeous, sweet, wonderful, talented Alicia Silverstone. <laughs> Who's also an old friend and someone that we've, you know, been in and around uh, the world together. And also, we're both navigating the world of online dating. You know, uh, this is new to so many of us. Uh, we actually, <laughs> so new that we're bringing in our resident go-to dating coach um, and my love partner in crime, Demona Hoffman. <laughs> Alicia, what is your strategy right now? Where are you at? What's your baseline? What are you looking for? Likes, dislikes? I, um, I don't have time. I'm a busy person. I work so much. I have a very full life. I love my life. I love my son. I just don't have time to mess around. So I'm sort of like, I just go in really open and clear and ask really good questions so that I can find out if we're on the same path, if, if we have the same vision for our lives, if we want the same things. If we don't, we're, we might be really attracted to each other, but we're going to waste a lot of time and get really hurt in the long run, you know? Demona, what are your thoughts and feelings about some of the stuff we're saying and what should we be looking for? Well, Alicia has a really good strategy here, actually, as long as it's not so intimidating that no one can clear the bar. Right. But when I hear that she's really looking to cut to the chase and figure out, does someone align with her goals and values? That's what so many people are afraid to ask the tough questions because we're afraid of getting rejected. And if we actually say what we want in the beginning and they run away, we think, we think we've done something wrong, but it's actually good if we're not aligned in values. And that's really coming out of the pandemic, what one of the biggest trends is that people are now looking to date based on life goals and based on values. People are really moving into seeking substance and looking for someone who aligns with them on a deeper level. Um, one thing that we have with us, which I'm very excited about, and this is so weird, it's like we had a crystal ball because the phenomenon of memes in the last 24 hours has exploded into red flags. It's like <laughs> we knew this was coming or something. And Demona, you actually, we have some red flags here and you're gonna educate us on what are and aren't, Take, tell me. Yes, so I'm gonna quiz you and Alicia on some of these common red flags and you tell us whether you think they are a red flag on a first date or not. Okay, this is the most action I've had in a long time. I'm really excited because <laughs> I don't have any objectivity on how I'm doing this. <laughs> so I'm so thrilled to be in this hot seat right now. It's like a pop quiz. Okay, are you ready, Alicia? Totally. Okay, the first Come. question is, <laughs> is it a red flag if their profile has a long list of things they want in a partner? No. 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 No flags. No flags. No flags at all. Why In do you fact, say that? I wish people would be more specific. I, my biggest problem, Alicia, tell me what you feel, is that uh, people, men, um, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I'm sure girls are guilty of it too, um, they're so vague and quippy and they tell you their job is like being an astronaut, wink, wink, when they're clearly not an astronaut. So. I don't see anybody being specific about anything that would be a red flag for me. I would agree with you on that. If they say what they want, it shows that they've thought about it. Right. So many times people tell me, I'll know it when I see it. If, honey, if you haven't seen it, you don't know. <laughs> All right, I have, I have another Love red it. flag quiz for you. What if their profile is only pics, no text at all? Oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> Oh, the flags came out. Yeah, that's definitely a red flag. That can be a sign of a catfish. Ooh. You know, catfish Ooh. is someone who's not who they say they are, so they've taken the pictures from someone else. Alicia, didn't you get, like, someone thought you were a catfish? Yes. So, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> a few years ago, I tried to get on one of the... Um, you know, dating apps. And I put a fake profile because I didn't want to be, I wasn't comfortable yet being me. And so, and then I got kicked off. I got banned. And then I tried again. I got the courage up because I heard that you were on and I heard that Sharon Stone was on. So I was like, well, if they can be on, I can be on. So, so I, um, 
so I went on as myself and I took a lot of courage to do it. And then I did it and I had a date with someone planned. And then they, the way the day I went in to find out about the date, like where we were meeting or whatever, I had been banned, poor guy. So I've, <laughs> so I got kicked off as myself too. Did you ever <laughs> find the person again? No, I mean, I'm sure he thinks I was failed. You He's know? still out there. I was just going to say, <laughs> hmm, Demona, we might need some, uh, some of your magic there. All right, okay, what's your next red one. flag? What if they message you with a generic opening line, just like, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, the flags are coming out here. I want to say something. I, like, I don't like it, but they do it all the time. I mean, and you just kind of got to go with it because they, they're scared. So they just write, hey, and... I don't, know. <laughs> I don't I don't go like alarm I'm not going to talk to you I just would prefer that they have more to say than that yeah so true so true nobody knows what to say in that initial message but guys come on come on you can do better than a hey